The original Teen Titans on Cartoon Network? Huh, they must finally be growing a brain. Uh, mute? Yeah, well, can you make milk come out of your eyeball like this? Uh... Meow, 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 meow. May I have some of the eye milk? Uh-oh, not my eye milk. Guys, stop fighting. Cyborg, have you considered other things besides a cape? You can get a scarf, hammer pants, a big hat. What the actual fuck, Cartoon Network? Are you kidding me? This is the last straw! You broke the straw, I broke the cow's back! All bets are off! Clothes are coming off! Come on, CN! Let's go! Who the fuck are you? Hey, MNC Jr. And remember Ubuntu because I need reassurance that someone remembers when Cartoon Network wasn't fucking horrible. You may be wondering, what has Cartoon Network done that has so infuriated me that it broke my rage meter within five seconds of seeing it? Well, you read the title of the video, the latest episode of Teen Titans Go, The Cape. Little bro, I'm breaking you out of here. Now, before I get into why this is one of the biggest black marks on a record since Hitler, Let's take a look back and see how this is not the first time Cartoon Network and Teen Titans Go! have said fuck you to the original fans. It all started with the episode, Let's Get Serious. Where, no joke, the characters from the much, 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 hundred times much better show Young Justice make a cameo to talk shit to the Titans, rightfully so, about how useless, silly, and the lack of being serious that they are. Now, as you could probably tell, this entire episode is a setup saying, oh, so you can't be funny if you're serious? Look at this. We are now not funny at all. Do you want this? And just the cameo a show in it to tell them that that actually is serious and funny at the same time like the original Teen Titans Go, which is fucking Young Justice, and they don't even understand the irony of their own goddamn joke. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not gonna get mad again. But they're just so so brain dead that they don't understand their own joke. So in the episode, the Titans become super serious and don't joke around and all that bullshit. So, um, if that episode felt like a slap in the face to you, don't worry. You'll get loads of slaps in the faces from the rest of these episodes. So much so, you'll feel like Cartoon Network's pimp bitch. The next episode, to be in the same vein, is Return of Slade, where the fans beg Teen Titans Go for the return of the most badass villain on the show. Well, they did. Titans Go! Just happened. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry. That was only the first five minutes of the episode. The rest of it is pushing their bullshit message. Cyborg and Beast Boy want to celebrate by getting a clown, as they remember clowns being awesome when they were kids. But when they get the clown, it is not as they remembered it to be. With Raven saying the line, Yeah, clowns are great for little kids. You guys are too old for clowns. Yes, you think you're clever creators of Go. But the people who you're obviously saying fuck off to with this line are older and smarter than that. If you didn't catch that, just replace the word clowns and the actual clown in the episode with cartoons. Yeah, that's right. They're basically saying cartoons are for kids and you shouldn't try and change them and make them adult. All the adult cartoons that are out there plus the cartoons that you've already cameoed mentioned that can be for adults and serious? Oh my god, you guys are honestly branded. Unlike the last episode, where they were just saying that you can't be funny and entertaining if you're serious, this episode actually insults the viewer's expectations by teasing Slade, the intelligence by saying that we're too stupid if we think cartoons should be for adults, and our preferences by saying we like cartoons if we're adults. And now, you're probably thinking, after those two episodes, Cartoon Network's headquarters must have been burnt to the ground and all their executives shot. Well, unfortunately that didn't happen, so they can make another episode, The Fourth Fucking Wall. In this episode, the Teen Titans face off against their villain control freak. Well, not really face off, because that would imply they're actually fighting crime. He shows them that they are reboots of the old Teen Titans, and that there is a fourth wall that we, the audience, are looking through. So, uh, yeah. A show where the audience is this, they are trying to do meta humor. How does that work? Oh, yeah. Control Freak is basically a representation of us fans and how we ridicule Go, 
But of course in the end, the Titans don't give a shit and show that they'd rather be stupid than what they used to be. Obviously embodying the creators of Go and the Ezex at CN. And how they don't give a shit and their final stance on the position is fuck you. That's all well and good, Junior, but what about the cape? Have a point. I'm getting to that. There's all a point to this. So, how could Go, after all of that and all they've done, do something more despicable, more fucking degrading than all of that? <laughs> well, they did this. What's that? It looks like the very first episode, Divide and Conquer? <laughs> well, you'd be right there, but there's a twist. Let's turn up the audio. Even though I'd rather jump in front of a train than do that. That flows, so you can look better. What do you say, cyborg? No way! I'm done! I'm not gonna be part of this! <laughs> so you're just gonna walk away? Yeah, I'm gonna walk away! If you were walking away, you'd be going further away, but you're not! Just, just what the fuck? If you can't tell what they did, clearly there's something wrong with you. But... Just for reference sake, the creators of Go took the very first ever episode of Teen Titans and dubbed over it with their shitty Go persona, and Cartoon Network allowed this! There... there are so many reasons why this entire episode idea is just fucking awful and probably one of the stupidest ideas Cartoon Network has done in a long time. And that is saying quite a lot. Well, A... How the hell did Cartoon Network think this was going to play out? Did they think they were going to get a pat on the back from us fans of Teen Titans saying, Oh, good job! You actually know how to do parody! You do as parody as fucking good as the guys who made Epic Movie! Unless they're actively trying to alienate their fans, and given the lineup of episodes they've already made, I would say yes they are. Then, I have nothing else to assume that all the executive writers and decision makers over at Cartoon Network all have crippling autism. B, this episode is basically a middle finger, like, the embodiment of this episode is a middle finger to us fans from the creators. Why? Two reasons. One is this is basically their way of saying, you want the original show back? Do you really want it? Well, here you go. What's that? It's not the original, but the animation is the same, right? And the voices are the same, because that's the only thing you hated about our other animation choice of Go, right? It's not? <laughs> oh well. And second, is that by this point, us fans of the original have just said fuck you to go and aren't up to date on these episodes. So the episode is primarily being seen by, you guessed it. And as I have said before, is that they have no idea about the original show. So any of the jokes against it will just go over their heads. Let's look at one of the jokes from the episode. Taste like the butt? Not now. I'm in the middle of something very important. Oh, come on, Cartoon Network! Do I have to show you again who your audience is? You think they're gonna get that joke? What do you think about this, Murphy? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ridiculous, right? Um, and finally C, which is the biggest one, which is actually why I made this rant episode. This is the biggest issue with this episode, and that is... Because this episode uses the first episode, and consequently the same animation as the original show, all those little morons who watch this show will now associate the original with Go, and vice versa. So, way to go, you schmuck executives. You have now positioned the final nail into the coffin of your fans of your old shows, and your shows in general. Cartoon Network, I'm not angry with you. <laughs> no, that's the understatement of the fucking century. But I don't want to get angry again and get put back in the penalty box. Um, no, but I'm disappointed with you because of how you treat us. How you treat the fans of Teen Titans. And you might be thinking, oh, you're just one bit of fans, right? We are the entire generation that made you the fucking powerhouse that you are today. If it wasn't for us loving your shows in the past, it wouldn't, you wouldn't have anything right now. 
and this is the way you treat us. And even if you're not directly writing in these episodes, these FUFs, it doesn't matter. You're greenlighting them, letting them go through, which means that you like it somehow. You, you like it, which is honestly horrible. Just, I am so disappointed in you, honestly. And the entire community is. In the end, all I can do is complain. Show why it's valid and get support from literally millions of fans that you've made angry over just a bit of money. But as long as you continue to make that money, you're not going to bat an eye. So, you might be wondering, how on earth does this fucking episode end? Well, let's just say that it 100% cements the fact that Cartoon Network hates us fans and is trying to say we're incompetent for thinking the original show was amazing. <sighs> Play it. That show was so good! I know! It's even better than I remembered! Let's watch another one! <laughs> Mr. Bell, seeing as how you were a fan of the original show, could you please say what we're all thinking? This is fucking bullshit. Okay? This, these fucking assholes, this fuck, these fucking assholes! The fuck is their problem, man? This is fucking typical cop hate game bullshit! Thank you. Now, the creators of Go, you know, these fuckers. We've never even seen the old show. May God send 500 baboons upon you, have their way with you, and then you'd be tossed into the Sarlacc pit to be digested for all of eternity. And Cartoon Network, until you smart up your act, young man, I'm honestly just not going to associate any of your good properties with you. You clearly are not responsible and respective enough to be associated with great shows like We Bear Bears, Young Justice, and Steven Universe. So, until you change up your act, you are just removed from those properties to me. You are just disowned from those properties for me. Teen Titans Go, you have devolved into nothing to me. You are a stain on the entertainment industry, one that won't ever come out. So I'm going to cover you with a rug until you're forgotten about and only be revealed many years later when we need to remind Cartoon Network of their mistakes. This is the last time I'm covering Go. I'm done. That show, out of the way, I'm done. Because you know what they say? Any attention is good attention, and the attention whoring, attention whores of Go and the creators of Go and Cartoon Network want more people to get attention to the show, to get attention, and more attention for the attention whoring, attention whores. Get on with it! Right, 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 right. Um, oh man. Well, this has been a rant and a half. I need a nap. Murphy, what do you think of my performance? Please don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <sighs> Hey, I'm the NC Junior. I remember to reboot it. Sir, you're coming with me. What? Why? You do not have sufficient funding to uphold a house like this. Yes, I do. Immediately. Those are mine. Ah! <laughs>